Hello, everyone. I'm hope oh, I'm not. <laughs> Come off a little too timid. Now, uh, how are you? I'm quite a bit nervous. I've never done this before, so this is quite new to me. I guess I should introduce myself as Wolf. My name is Rachel Dragonstorm. I'm Devin's fiance and future wife. I'm also considered the healer of the team. Also the one that specifically deals with combat or a lot more than others. I have my sword here is called the Life Force Stealer. I didn't bring my combat shotgun to the restaurant today because it'd be quite improper. I'm actually enjoying some, uh, rather nice sweets from the Mega Man menu. I, uh, I get a bit of sweet juice. I also have a uh, Mega Blue Parfait drink. <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of y'all probably has some uh, curious questions. So I will answer them to the best of my ability. If you have any questions, please be... Respectful and kind, and make sure they're on to points. Don't be shy now, not like me. I'm sure y'all have something to ask of me. Maybe of me, or maybe what's going on with the commander? Or even that of something far more important. Maybe something a little bit personal? Maybe a little something more... Well, advice worthy from a girl. Who knows? I know I can be easily mistaken for or, uh, a certain Sonic character. This is quite weird. We look a lot alike, don't we? Uh, but it's not uncommon when you're uh, literally made from a monster known as a Moo. Uh, and also a female warrior known as Lightning Pharaoh's DNA blocks. I guess I should start talking about my origins. I was made by Professor Hojo, a evil scientist. I was specifically made to kill everything. Indulge in the act of killing, murdering, destroying, all for the sake of the evil foundation of mad science. Seven mad scientists wanted to take over the universe, and the commander's team was sent to deal with them. That's when they ran into me, in a facility on Stira. I just woke up from a sleeping chamber. Well, more like creation chamber, really. And Hojo demanded me to, well... Attack them. My first target was the commander. I really didn't know the type of guy he was. As a matter of fact, his power level was being hidden by a magical a bracelet on his arm at the time. I couldn't sense his power level. I, I can actually sense people's power levels by mere hint. Quite the interesting conundrum, huh? <laughs> but it's a fiend's specialty. As a middle is part fiend, or is a fiend, 
And I'm also part of human. I guess I should talk about my size or my height. I'm seven foot one. I am literally over 208 pounds. I was created yet again to kill everything. But as I fought the commander, I ended up using an experimental rocket launcher. I don't have it anymore. I can't pick out explosives ever again. After what I did to him, I ended up blowing him up with an experimental rocket launcher that was supposed to end his existence. Only make him a literal talking torso. No, literally. All his lower half was blown off. Half of his face was gone. And his arms were completely, uh, well, erased. But so was the power inhibitor bracelet. I didn't know he had the same healing factor as I have. Divine healing and resurrection. His... Well, healing just kicked in almost immediately. He was like, do you know how much this hurts? And I was laughing cruelly back then. I'm not proud of myself. But... I was created by a mad scientist, so really cut the hell. So I was laughing cruelly, and he recovered. His team came by and asked him whether he was okay. And he was like, what do you think? I had recovered from being a talking torso for a minute. And one of the others was like, Really? Oh, your brace was gone. Oh, that's bad. They were worried about our uh, science foundation running out of the commander's true power. He was supposed to be the trump card. As their main target wasn't the scientists at first. He was supposed to handle Sever, the uh, so-called student that went completely mad. Him, Range of Inclusion, and the second war ended up putting together an evil organization known as the, well, Blades of the Sorceress's Return. The Blades of the Sorceress's Return was meant to regain the Sorceress's power, reconstitute it in a new body. Uh, Sever had plans to reconstitute it in himself. It didn't exactly work out. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. You see, as the commander was supposed to be a town card, I ended up destroying the bracelet, and I got the scent of his endless potential. An endless potential of an endless amount of power. Someone that can constantly improve himself, become stronger, better, faster, more efficient. Then I fell to my knees and overall joy and ecstasy. I, I don't know what to tell you. When it comes to that, in fiends, fiends always want to mate with somebody that has the highest power or the potential to have the highest power. It's our way our biology is and our matey habits. I am half fiend. But with the commander. It was like a sweet, intoxicating wine. Something that I can honestly say, it was intoxicating. I found love and Hojo lost his goddamn mind. He realized that the commander was everything someone like me was looking for. And Hojo considered me a failure. And he left the facility before the team could arrest him. Unfortunately, I w was uh, in a bit of state of shock. And I was crying. The commander never dealt with a crying grown woman before. It's quite different compared to a little sister when it comes to a full grown woman crying. I admit it was a... Uh, it was embarrassing. A being strictly meant to kill 
father disappeared and I had nothing anymore. But the commander didn't know how to handle it until the Greta came along and said, maybe you should do something so I can make your at ease. I don't think she's a bad person. I, well, I was at the time, but I changed. Not because the normal means. It's probably because of the DNA box of Lightning Pharaoh. The goodness of her existence is probably what made me change sides. And understand what it is be more or, or connected with my human half. As you see, the commander allowed me to join the team. I asked him, you want to get married or what? Right, whole hey. It was his my finest hour. He, he said no straight off, and I started to cry again. And he said, all right, all right, all right. I understand. Oh, let's have a friendship for us. See how it goes from there, and we'll see if we done something. I just stopped bawling right there, and I said, I knew you would see it my way. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, what can I say? When a woman wants something, they get something. And I wanted him. But the journey would be long and hard. There his trust, his acceptance, and his love. It would take many of months. Through the war of mad science, I would eventually fight an evil robotic copy of my... Beloved, but I could tell it was a fake. It didn't have the power he had. It had no power. No all natural, all living energy. It was just a robot. This robot, I needed up anger in me. And I lost my temper. And I did everything I could to destroy it. And I eventually cut its head off. And stomped on its balls. Its robotic balls. If <laughs> you get my meaning. And overall, just planting my sword right into his radium. I will eventually try to fight Hojo on my own. As he is base, his new base turned into a giant mech. I was overwhelmed. I couldn't defeat him alone. That's when the team came along in Devon. And for the first time in my existence, I accepted help from others. And Devin's words moved me that day. He said, even sometimes the greatest of warriors need to cry out for help. You can never do everything on your own. I... I've been... What if my life had to be a better... Person, a better being in the universe, in the grand scheme of things. Oh. So I can end up as saving lives, much like him, amongst the universe. It's strange, isn't it? How so many people call him a warlord, or a, a monster, or a criminal of some sort. And he's none of that. He never was. He's a man that always tries to do the right thing. And because he tries to do the right thing, people accuse him of these things. He spent his entire life in our dimension, saving lives. Maybe at times he had to do what he had to do to make sure our lives didn't end up destroying themselves from unknown circumstances. Like the Paul and Salta's invasion on the Snow Village and on the planet Shenra. He still scarred by that day. The girl in the poster over there, right behind me, was the little girl that we saved. She'd become a famous model and celebrity here in the North Galaxy Gallium Garden. In the North World Quadrant. Here in this garden, we have an artificial atmosphere that reacts to day and night. 
and so much more. That's little Tanya Rosie. She eventually got adopted by some new family members, and she has a little sister and a little brother. Her other brother, you know the story with that. If you watch the uh, a video oh, and listen to the attack on Snow Village, you know what the commander had to do. And it wounds him greatly. He still has trauma, terror, or like trips sometimes in the night. Remembering some things he had to do. Even though he never wanted to do things like that. He says it best himself. Sometimes doing the right thing isn't doing the right thing. Sometimes you have no choice but to do it. I know a lot of y'all are like... <laughs> probably wondering why I'm saying all this. Why I'm talking about some of our journeys together in my own... It's a way for, obviously, y'all to understand who we are and what we've accomplished. So y'all can get a feeling for me and my beloved more. Is it as by the locket you see around my net? <laughs> yeah, he got me this for our first date anniversary. As y'all know, I got angry about our third date and our first date anniversary. And I used the shrink ray. Put them between my boobs. <laughs> Never make a woman angry. But despite all the commander's great powers, we all do have weaknesses. No, Vinky's covered it before. I did have a twin sister that ended up fading in his arms in battle. Her name was Michelle. Death Winters. As I'm Rachel Dragonstorm. My sister was a lot more worse off than me. She was also smaller by at least two feet. In increments, at least. Of what y'all consider American increments. I don't know what it is in others. So she was like five foot one, I'm seven foot one. We were both created by the two sciences. I was Hojo, and Michelle was created by David Claudius Highwind from the planet Dalmasta, another well known criminal. That was with the foundation of mad science. But we wouldn't run into Michelle until, like, the Fourth War. As she was nearly ready, according to Sid and Claudius Highwinds, overall, like, I guess they were mad science logs? Maybe one day we'll reveal those. Right now, they're classified information. As they're a little bit too sensitive of... Uh, oh, wicked intentions in evil scientific endeavors. See, there's always, he says, if I would do its purpose to try to bring peace and happiness across our universe and our reality, it's something that's not easy to do. Some may even say it's downright impossible. We can do it across all galaxies in the universe. The Milky Way galaxy is one of them. The people there are easily too scared and frightened by things they don't understand. Devin and Ashi know this because they're from the same world. Even though their heritage is our from that and others. I used to see the commander is the grandson of Sid Kramer after Sid crash land in Roswell, New Mexico. Chasing after a galactic criminal has sold her as their mental weapon in aircraft. Sadly, he crashed land, but found out his target was, well, didn't make it. He had to wait a couple years before he was able to sit out in distress hall. 
Mama Lionheart never knew her daddy, as he had to leave before, like, well, her conception. You know, into the world. It's a little strange, isn't it? How some family members never know their actual all family. Maybe sometimes it's for the best. Maybe it's sometimes for the worst. Or maybe it's just somewhere in the mid. Who knows at this point? Uh, but the point is, is De uh, Kramer is Devin's grandpa. Tying the him blood into his body uh, from the universe. We're still trying to find out how he has the Cthulhu Aldridge blood or Aldridge or blood. And I was starting, I, we ended up finding out that Lou, on his father, biological father's half, his, uh, his mama's husband is not only the Flying Dutchman, but it was Loki in disguise. I I'm not gonna lie, that's messed up. Loki and... Yeah, Devin has Asgardian, but I'm, I'm just... It's weird, isn't it? He's not only got Earthling him blood, he's not only have... Have... You know... Paris blood, him blood, but he also has Eldridge and... Uh, as guardian blood. I guess that's what allows him to break the level of internal blood the way he does. You have the potential to constantly uh, break it. It's one thing to break it at least once, right? But to constantly keep breaking it and getting stronger. It's unfamidable. And it's what draws me to him. But what even draws me more to him is his kindness, his compassion, his understanding, and his strict nature to take command. I will admit he was never, uh, at first, the greatest commander, as he used to do a sergeant gunning routine. Every time as he would mess up, he would have us clean bathrooms with a pink brush with only, like, one toothbrush, and it would be our own. When we would fight and constantly squabble. He can be quite harsh when he's put up in a corner. But he's a good man and he's learned from his mistakes. As being the commander of the team, he is of us. And the commander of my heart. Such a good man he is. I love him so much. Him, I know if you all give him the chance. Truly shine as a big D. You too can honestly be able to enjoy him more. And all the content he's making. It's true, we put a lot on him to make videos and keep the strain stable and figure all this out because we're not too familiar with streaming and YouTube and all these rules and guidelines. He's like years before all this. Uh, being something called a, a new YouTuber. I don't know what that is. That sounds like something made out. Or just hate. But I think it's resolved or it, it revolves around a hard game. Hard game that he finds a hard time still enjoying playing. I can only imagine what kind of people would attack someone for wanting to make content in any sort of fashion. It's horrifying. But we have to open up our relations with Earth and the Milky Way galaxy to try to find some level of peace and coexistence. So we can finally have a peace treaty sign. We're going to be doing this for the next two to three years. Try to achieve this. Such issues are not easy to do. Politics are a nightmare. 
Especially for y'all's world. Uh, uh, despite all of us, we're doing our best. I know there's a lot of people that don't understand us and even hear us due to misinformation and outlandish lies. All of us here are part of C-Next Gen, we're not evil. Matter of fact, we're quite the opposite. We spend so much defending others. And for the first time, we're putting ourselves out there to try to finally bring peace to Earth. While also trying to entertain all of you. <laughs> but despite all this, I know y'all probably have some questions by now. Then y'all can jump in with a question at any time. I will answer them if I can. Allow me to take a bit of a drink of my parfait. Okay. Vibes, let's see here. I guess a lot of y'all are probably wondering, what's it like to date the commander? What's it like to date someone that cooks all the meals? He's all that. Uh, living space clean. Also works so hard to make us happy. I'm sure there's a lot of issues. And a lot of questions about that, huh? What is it like to date the commander? Wow. You can be a bit stubborn headed. A bit bold and brash. But he has good intentions. Others try to tell him he'll never be anything. That he'll never make it. That he'll never find happiness. But he's finding happiness. We both are. All of us. And we want him to be happy as well. I know that's what y'all truly want as well, right? You want him to be happy and to succeed. At least the real cadets. The fake cadets out there, the ones that do what they do. We'll never truly be able to appreciate or understand everything. The ones that are trying to destroy him in all of our work. That are ones that can never be forgiven. I wish that you understand when you are, but you're incapable of understanding. By all this, we endure. We continue to do our work. And try to make it. And entertain all of you while opening. Finally trust the relations with your home world. And Ashley's and Devon's home world, where y'all live as well. Even more so. What kind of meals does he cook? Oh, I just love it when he makes homemade donuts. Especially chocolate with sprinkles. Oh, I got a weak spot for chocolate donuts. He has a weak spot for the vanilla icing with sprinkles. He's quite a good cook, you know. He knows how to make chocolate oh, oh, ginger wings. Just imagine what y'all call chicken. But as giant overall chicken tenders, but they're uh, chocolate blue tenders. He's got a very unique recipe for it. And it's universal for uh, uh, chicken fried steaks. He has to go to Earth sometimes just to get those, you know? And then he's got a wonderful recipe for obviously red ruby dragon steaks. Oh, covered in cheese, bacon, seasoned with a powerful taste. Now make your taste buds tingle. Oh, I can't get enough of those things. 
and then his homemade pizza. You've never had our true pizza sauce until you had his pizza sauce. Mm. That's a delectable oh dish. His spaghetti sauce. Oh. That's a tasty meal with homemade garlic bread covered in butter, a little bit of garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, mozzarella, and that of freshly shredded yellow cheese, all topped off with a little bit of olive oil butter on top, keeping it a real nice crispy taste. Then you got his homemade rolls. Oh! Butter, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of olive oil. And even that. A little bit of white wine. As a buttery sauce to put on top. Mm. I don't know what to tell y'all. Wine, when it's cooked, literally gets rid of all the alcoholic tendencies. In other words, you can't get drunk. But it's kind of hard for us to get drunk anyways. I guess I need to explain that. It was due to the super soldier process they all went through, even me. It kind of burns away the... Well, intoxicating side effects of things of alcohol and certain drugs. It's really not a good idea to think about or even mention. But it's the way things are with us. The super soldier serums themselves came from divine crystals made by divine summons. Literally turning to powder through an energy transference process. So in other words, they got so much power, they got turned into powder. And then a super soldier process of soldier enhancing chemicals and fluids were injected into each and every one of them. I was created with mine in my body already. But they had to be injected. When the commander was injected, he died. In other words, he had a near-death experience. He met God, you know. He pissed off God so much, he got pink slapped back into reality. That still baffles my mind. How are you made God so mad at you? He paid slaps you into reality. I think that that's just a kind of truthful asshole. That he is. If you can probably piss off God with the truth, you're probably a really good person. Also, it's the reason why God I'd said he's not allowed in heaven. Lucifer's terrified him. I've owned my hand, he can't enter purgatory because, well, he's a gamer. Do you ever imagine what happens when you send a gamer to purgatory? Somehow they end up with an M16 in the shotgun or machine gun, I forget which one it is, you earthlings use. A overall crucible blade, a rocket launcher, a grenade a shooter up from your shoulder. Somehow, NASA power armor. And even that, I've been multiple different other things. It don't get so bored so easily, you just destroy everything. Honestly, I actually find that kind of enduring a keto. <laughs> I love men that are gamers, especially my beloved commander. He may not be the best gamer, but he's my gamer. I know y'all want to see him game more, too. And have more good times. He's a good man with good heart. He can be he funny, but then he can be truthful. He can be mistaken for an a-hole for the wrong reasons. And he can be accused of an a-hole for the right reasons. He's even considered to be somewhat of a self-righteous idiot from time to time. Even a pun lord of reference king. He's a straight up funny guy once you truly get to know him. 
it's true, you may do a lot of voice impressions and acting skits for some of his favorite actors. After all, who wouldn't want to do that? He's the ultimate form of, well, compliment or just a cruel slap to the face. Commander himself, my commander, and all yours, commander. He is quite the interesting conundrum. Not a lot of people want to see anything he does succeed, but we will succeed. It just takes time for these things. He told me when it comes to framing, especially for everything we're doing, it's gonna take it close to like 12, maybe 18 months. For a huge overall influx of popularity. It's not impossible to think about or even imagine how hard and tedious the streaming process really is. He started at first doing videos. Hmm. I don't think that was the right thing to do. But it was due to our radio tra our internet transmissions not able to reach your planet. So we had to find an external mean to do so. Videos were, were, were easy. Live streaming was hard. We even had a few problems trying to live stream as soon as possible when we got the technology prepared and the signal suffered. Suffered greatly due to a bit of obscene daisies every once in a while. But it's something that we've learned to work with and endure. Uh, let's see here. I guess I might as well talk more about myself. Other than, like, when I first met the commander, I was, he's also mentioned where he I had some of my greatest victories. But I'll tell you what's my greatest victory. Ah, uh, finally pitting him down. Oh, that was beautiful. Ah, <laughs> uh, any woman that could pit a man like him down would probably be the happiest person in the universe. In any reality, really. Rather be the second dimensional space, third dimensional space, or four. <laughs> Maybe the fifth or sixth or seventh. There's all sorts of different dimensional spaces and realities, but they all have one thing in common. We all exist in them in some way, shape, or form. It's a little strange, but it's just how things work. Alternate realities, timelines, dimensional existences. There's all different versions of us out there. Some of them similar, some of them different. Others were wicked, others were good. Who knows? Maybe there's someone that like you out there. That's either better than you or worse than you. In another dimension or timeline or, or overall reality. Quite the interesting conundrum to think about. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh! I know what I should talk about. I'm sure a lot of y'all are quite curious of some of the other events that has recently happened in the past few months. From the certain oh, issue from the uh, certain community that he's tried to help to even that of the uh, first battle of a controversy that he actually made it, you know? I will admit, it wasn't his fault, the first great battle online, but him trying to help that community while all accidentally getting the wrong information, I made sure to scold him for not looking into it as fast and efficiently as possible. I guess it was because he had bad respect for that one individual and the knowledge he had. I didn't even know all the knowledge came from everyone else. 
the that certain community likes to keep their secrets like that away from everyone but eventually when he learned the truth he knew he had to do something to try to recover everything we were working on to succeed with to make so he changed gears after getting the evidence and made a rather fast but rather it just type of well and even that a reckless fast made video i'm not gonna lie at least he did right. You know? He, he did right. He talked about how this individual needed help. How he has to go see a mental physician and all that. That guy was so messed up in the head. And then, obviously, the attacker from Twitter slash X, or the X platform in general, tried to imitate another. And the actual guy got... Some be wires crossed and mixed up. He didn't know what was going on. All he knew was he had to defend himself. I do think that guy was just going off an instinct when he was doing that. And not actual thinking or logic. It's true his individual surrounds himself with a younger generation. That should not be accepted as the norm. Nor that it ever should. I do want to have children with my beloved, but as of right now, we're both on the border with that, uh, literally. As we see how people are across the universe and now your world, uh, the younger generation, and how reckless and inaccurate they are, me and my beloved are constantly talking about how we can raise our first child to not be like all these others. In a more productive and efficient way. We don't want our children to end up like everyone else's. We actually want them to be better. Kinder, stronger, more noble. While also having a backbone. We don't ever want them to be pushed around. Or made fun of without actually being able to defend themselves. Because we will always have our children's backs. That's just a fact. Parents should always have their children's backs and watch over them. Rather be up closer from afar. Sometimes they can't do that. Sometimes things happen. And despite how much you want to fix it, you can't. Sometimes things are beyond fixing. It's so far gone and lost in the sauce. The dark side of the sauce, as our beloved calls it. That there's nothing you can do about it. And you just need to learn to endure and move on. I guess one of the greatest weaknesses of my beloved is... Finding a way for them to move on from certain situations. You know, he kind of holds on to things a little bit too long. That affect him in a negative fashion. I guess it hit, weighs heavily on his soul. The soul of a man that only wants to do right. But people can only see him doing wrong. Because that's what they want him to do. And he doesn't want to do wrong. He wants to do right. He wants to help people. Better. Ah. Let's see here. Well. All right. I guess I need to, need to uh, cover another. Well, factor. As y'all have seen him constantly streaming, and you've seen all of us, right? You've seen what we look like, and you've heard our voices from time to time. You've even seen the main team. You've been introduced to our students 
at Seed Academy. The Greta is the head principal. The commander is the head instructor. Oh, she's the senior instructor. <laughs> I'm the nurse. I'm supposed to take care of the students. Ouchies. You know. Kai is supposed to be like, well, the librarian. Geo is supposed to be a computer tech guy. Us is supposed to be the uh, head cook of the school. Along with Joey, helping he being cooking and cleaning a thing, so he's not only a cook, but he's a janitor. He's a rather small school, as we are planning to teach others how to be more efficient in what's all known as VT, or VTubers. It's true that it got lost for a while, but we are planning to get it back on track. No longer having it be a universal classroom to teach everyone how to be better content creators, but just how to be better VGs and how to get off the ground. To be your own efficient one, I think is far more important. And the commander agrees with me on this. Feel and everyone else does. So that's why we created VTuber Academy or VT Academy. And the, ser and the obviously security recordings are going to be called VT Academy. So you want to be a VT. This has to happen right away. As the audio recordings and visual recordings of the security have to be heavily edited and monitored. Where obviously y'all don't see the negative incidents from the two troublemakers of the school. Elasia and... Well, Joseph are... Elasia and Joseph are two of the troublemakers. Y'all haven't seen them yet because... they're quite unruly. They don't show up for class, they don't bring their books in, well, their digital interface, these Instagram books. And they certainly don't follow the rules. I can't tell y'all how many times we have had to scold them, only for them to continue to be the way they are. Well, uh, let's see here. I know a lot of y'all are re waiting for the new series, The Sands of Time, where we go over some of the greatest VTs and how they've come to success. This is a process that takes quite a few weeks or months doing proper research into the VT. But y'all seen the results, right? Him talking about Taka or not, or not. one of the great idiotists, Tommy actors online, that became a VT, how he became one, and also how a couple of the mistakes he's made. It's not uncommon for VTs to make mistakes. No one's perfect. But even more so. I think he's gonna start off with Taka or not. Putting all these little old clip live strings into a huge compilation. I think that'll be rather intriguing. What do y'all think? <laughs> well, as the commander would say, who cares what y'all think? I know y'all all have your thoughts and ideas of what he should and shouldn't do, right? Now, when it comes to VTs, we can give you a bit of power, but not that level of power. As it lies in madness, and corruption. And we don't need that. Y'all don't need that. We don't need that. No one needs that. We don't want to fall on a level of corruption and disorder. We don't want to make mistakes. Not at all. But even more so, we just want to entertain and do the right thing. 
I hope y'all can understand that. Also, a lot, the comics have taken a bit of a back seat. As we've been quite busy with other things. Ah. Oh, sometimes happy little accidents. Most of the times, just overall. Issues. Get out of my face. Thank you. But even more so. What is out in my hair today? Yeah. Yeah, out of my face. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. All right. Oh. Um, well, this is supposed to be a two-hour live stream, right? I guess I need to react to some things. Oh, uh, I think he said Ruby Spears Mega Man. I've never seen that show. But I don't think I want to see it right away. As a matter of fact, how about some time next week? I do y'all an absolute favor. Uh, what the commander calls a solid. I watched something that I've never watched before. As I want to watch Blue Core Studios Mega Man. What do y'all say? Would y'all want to join little old me? Watching Blue Core Studios Mega Man? Here live on Twitch uh, Twitch uh, TV. Next Sunday? Yeah, I'm sure you'd probably be like, Why that movie? Uh, well, I've never seen it. But my beloved said it's a good action-filled time. You know? And I believe he said it avoids copyright claim here on Twitch.tv. So, that's gonna be fun. Also, we are trying to work on a episode of me and my beloved on the beach. As we are going to have a beach episode on the YouTube channel. I think y'all are going to find that quite intriguing. If that, uh, maybe a little bit romantic. If you're in such a thing. It's partly being developed. Uh, well, not developed, but planned for our date. As we're planning to go to Casa del Sol. And spend some time together. I hope y'all will appreciate that much. We've been just so busy. We haven't been able to go on much dates lately. Matter of fact, this is the first time that I've actually been able to go to a restaurant for a while. Ah. Uh. Let's see here. Mm. Oh, right. One more thing I need to mention. As I want to make sure everything is quite clear before moving on to other things. We truly do want to entertain and have y'all all enjoy all of our work. But it takes time to get these things done. And we rely heavily on the commander to edit everything and work on it. So please be patient, is all I'm asking. One more thing. As I just realized what I did there. I know all of y'all are quite impatient. But as the commander tells me, all good things come to those who wait. And patience is a virtue. A virtue could be its own reward.
I know some of y'all may be impatient, but it'll be worth it. I promise. Now, I don't think I want to react to you thing. As a matter of fact, I guess I'm done enough right now. I want to thank each and every one of y'all that are going to watch this live stream and even more so. And join the content coming forward in the live streams. Join me next Sunday, obviously, when I react to Blue Core Studios Mega Man. I wish my beloved to be there that night. But next Sunday, he's going to be busy on a bit of a mission. So I'll be here instead. Y'all take care for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, follow, sub. All that kind of good stuff, please. If not for the commander, then for little old me. Or little young me, actually. It would mean a lot. And who knows? Maybe we get quite a couple of actual followers and backers. Maybe I'll get something a little bit more. <laughs> and base it. Or maybe a little bit something more revealing. In the near future, honey. Bye bye now. I need to finish my. Hey, obviously. Desserts. And head back at home to my beloved. Before it gets too dark. Thank you one of all. Watching all this. Take care for now. That's hot. Anyway.